Hey everyone, welcome back to Electro Petrol Head. If you were one of the nigh on 4,000 people who watched the recent video I made about the sort of RIMAC takeover of Bugatti and how that's gonna pan out and whether it was a cash buyout or not, then this video might um, interest you. If you haven't watched that video, I'll put the link here and you can see it. So, an interesting set of photos came onto social media in the last few days. And it was of a concept car on a track and it had sort of camouflage, but you could tell it was a Bugatti or Bugatti, depending on how you pronounce it. So this was not a Veyron and this was not a Chiron. This was something else. So I got a little bit excited because obviously I've just done all this research into how uh, Rimac have so basically taken over Bugatti, even though it's still staying within the VW group in a weird way. So is this the first EV Bugatti? You know, is this being tested on track already? Because these days, a lot of these um, sort of concept cars are tested on tracks away from the public eye. And you've got to really know your cars to know what's being tested. And with a lot of racetracks being pretty private, and obviously with an EV, you know, it's not going to make any noise. So the question is, is this a, an EV Bugatti that's been been tested for a while? And now that the news has come out about this um, takeover by Rimac, who are an EV specialist, is this the first EV Bugatti? Yeah, don't think so. Okay, so... When these photos first came out, I instantly was sort of WhatsApping a few of my sort of petrol head mates. Um, a lot of them are now sort of EV drivers, but they still love motorsport. And I was like, hey, you know, what's this? You know, this is really interesting. Because obviously the original photos came out and they were just photos. We couldn't hear an engine or anything. And um, I was chatting to a mate, and I won't name drop him because I haven't asked for his permission, but I was chatting to him and he goes, that looks like a roof scoop. And I was like, damn. The roof scoop. You don't need a roof scoop on an EV. Because the problem with a petrol car is part of the, uh, the power comes from the air going into the engine. You don't need that in an EV. It's a motor and a battery. So why would there be a, a roof scoop? So I thought, okay, they're either really putting people off the scent here by running a, a roof scoop on an EV, or it's not an EV. So then the day went past, and then I saw this video. That doesn't sound like an EV, does it? So, questions. What do you think, what, what do we think it is? If you've got an idea, put it in the comments, because it's one of two things. One, it's a full on sort of petrol supercar that's potentially lined up to race in a upcoming Le Mans series, which would be really cool. You know, be up against like the Glickenhauses and other really cool cars. You know, it's, it could, for the petrol head in me, I'd love this to happen. You know, imagine sort of all the hypercars and all the different brands going head to head in Le Mans series as like one last hurrah for petrol. That would be cool. Um, or it's a hybrid. And this is an option that I've not heard really talked about, is that it might be Rimac coming in with their EV technology. Bugatti have already got the really cool petrol engines. Are they going to do something together? Are they going to make a hybrid as the first sort of electrified Bugatti? Or is it just a straightforward, you know, Bugatti petrol road car? And it's been in development for a while. And, you know, the electric cars are going to be here in, you know, two or three years. I think at this point, we don't know. <laughs> it's like, it's all up in the air. But what I can be certain of is they're probably the brand I'm most interested in at the moment. I think Bugatti have a really interesting past and I do honestly believe that they're still a major part of this sort of VW empire. 
So there's a lot of money kicking around and I think they're gonna be doing some really cool stuff. You know, I still love Koenigsegg and I think they're gonna come out with an EV in the not too distant future and that's gonna be mega. Can't see Bagani doing one. I think they'll be one of the last petrol cars. Glickenhaus, like I said, they've said they're gonna be the last petrol sort of brand. Um, and then obviously you've got, you know, the more mainstream brands like Porsche and papers like that. But yeah, I think it's really interesting. Please comment below what you think it is. Uh, big shout out to those who, you know, put these photos and videos up on Instagram and Twitter. It's, um, it's always really interesting to see. And catch you on another video very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.